derivative. So based on how this is written in this time symbol, I suspect we're going to need to use product rule. So product rule says take the derivative of the left part, bring the power down, lower the power by one, and don't forget chain rule, times the second part left alone, and then plus, and then do it in the other order. Take the derivative of the second part with the first part left alone. And as an FRQ, if it just wants you to find derivative, I guess technically you can stop there without any simplifying. But multiple choice, the correct answer is probably going to be cleared up a little bit. So right off the bat, I can see times 2 divided by 2 are going to cancel. So that's pretty easy simplifying. And then the other thing I would expect to happen is we could probably push these two terms together if we got a common denominator. So right now this guy has a denominator of 1. I need him to have a denominator of square root of 2x plus 1. But you can't multiply the denominator by something without multiplying the numerator and expect it to stay the same. Okay, and then the idea of getting a common denominator allows me to shove all of this together. So I get an x cubed plus 3x squared times the square root of 2x plus 1 times the square root of 2x plus 1 is just going to be 2x plus 1. Now similar to previous question a minute ago, this is 3x squared times all of this. So I would recommend you put it in parentheses before you forget. Don't just multiply the 3x squared by 2x, it also goes to the 1. Okay, and then it looks like in the numerator, I could combine my x cubes. And I don't know, that's about the extent of what I would do, at least quickly. So I would start to look at the solutions, and it looks like the only other thing they may have done is factored out an x squared. They did GCF before they wrote the answer up. I think I made my error when I was trying to give them like denominators. I also multiplied the other side by the same thing, so it, it canceled that out. So you got, you got hairy. Okay. Yeah, the problem is if you multiply this side by that as well, then they don't have common denominator. Because if you multiply this by this, now his denominator is not the square root of 2x plus 1. He's a regular 2x plus 1, and this guy's the square root of 2x plus 1, so now they're not the same.